you want to watch me make some more paint? <laughs> this one is a very simple recipe. Hi, I'm Sherry. I want to welcome you to my studio today. It's the recipe for fluid acrylics and it is so easy. It's 10 parts GAC 800 to one part paint. And then for high flow acrylics, it's 15 parts golden GAC 800 to one part paint. But I'm not going to mix that up now. Now again, I'm eyeballing this. Yeah, everything's dirty here. I won't measure. It's about four ounces. White on white's kind of hard to see, isn't it? So I've already almost used up this little thing of quinacridone magenta. So I want to mix some more. Uh, if you're wondering what this is, these are fine liners. They're awesome. They're like a syringe, but you don't have to draw up the paint. These are fine line caps. They go right onto the golden bottle. And they have this little thingy that goes inside the needle to help it clean from keep from drying out. But if it does dry out, you can take everything apart. My friend Debbie does not like phthalo green, and I think it's gorgeous. It's like a beautiful, rich evergreen. And then in a size that's more cost-effective, teal or bleu lagoon. <laughs> so we're going to just mix. And the teal is obviously much is much more dense because it went straight to the bottom. Every time I've used, I only try to do these with the density one time. Um, Suave Arts makes cells with density all the time. She doesn't use any silicone or other additives and uh, she gets beautiful cells. But the one time I tried it, um, I made a video called Density Schmensity because it did not work for me. And it's just a matter of making sure to get everything incorporated. As with my primary elements, I keep these with the lid on, with the name written on the lid, inside a bigger container that has a lid so that I can be sure to um, keep them as fresh as possible. They do skim over, GAC 800 does skim over if you leave it open very long, so always seal your bottle and seal this up as quickly as you can. I'm going to do a little test for you again, so you can see they look very pale. Um, because of the whiteness of the GAC 800 but uh, they will dry the color of the paint in the bottle. Now phthalo green is semi-transparent, teal is um, opaque and quin is transparent. These are pretty thin and so we'll come back later and see what they look like dry. Hello, it's about a day after I mixed up these paints and I wanted to show you the beautiful vibrant colors as well as the high sheen that you get with a mix of Golden Fluid Acrylics and GAC 800. These two colors are transparent. This color is opaque. You are seeing the teal through the uh, magenta here and here a little bit, but you can't really see 
the magenta through the teal. See how that's more um, opaque. You can see each through each other here. I just cannot express enough how much I love the sheen and reflectivity of this mix. I mean, wow. It's like a mirror. Now, even though it's super shiny, you still have to protect it with UV protection. Acrylic paints and oil paints should not be mounted behind glass because they go continue to cure. Anyway, gorgeous, huh? Thanks for watching my video. Please leave any questions or comments you might have, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you'll subscribe. Thanks again. Bye.